Hey everybody, it's Paul. How are you guys doing? We are here in front of the Reef to Be. It's so close, guys. Really, the last step I have now is the water. And in order to do that, I need to make sure I got pure water. So I bought this RODI system. It's made by Aquatic Life. It's a four stage um, and it's a twist in. It's a real nice, easy design, uh, convenient. So we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy and uh, there's a few things in here that you guys are going to definitely want to see um, to prep yourself if you guys ever go with an RODI system. All right, it's time to open up this bad boy, Aquatic Life Twist-In RODI system. So this is meant to just be easier. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I apologize for my voice ahead of time. I've been fighting a cold. All right, look at this beauty. All right, so we got our tubes then we got some hardware here is the mounting head yeah so here's here's the uh head got a place to mount it moves up and down all that good stuff got the cartridges here's the deionization filter the membrane filter carbon block and the sediment filter yeah there it is so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go through the good old instructions here and see how to do this all right so what I need to do is take this apart and then you put this gasket on there we'll get that going so it's gonna go right in there is going to do it right there with the hole. Okay, so a few things. We got the bottom of the sink. We got the P-trap here. Now, it was about a six inch metal piece. And when you try to hook it up to the saddle, and the saddle is all the way tight, uh, that's not going to work. So this is one and a quarter inch. It needs to be one and a half inch in order for it to work. So we're gonna get clever here and kind of make something that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to trim a few things up, but I think we're gonna get this done. What I'm gonna go ahead and do here is add a little bit of Teflon tape to the bottom of this. Good enough. Now, again, I cut this. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and get this back up into its spot. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and mark where we need to cut this. So I'm gonna give us some space and say about here. All right, we're getting close. So we gotta put this on and then we need to go ahead and cinch this sucker on and then we can adjust it as we need. Okay, we need to go ahead and do this here so that the gasket is up inside. And then that goes there. And there. And then twist this guy on. Okay, so now we're set. So now it has to be at least two inches above this part of the trap. So we want our main point, and we're just gonna go here at two and a half because I don't really got much more room. Pull the tape off, make sure there's no burrs. All right, so we got some of our waistline and we got this part of the saddle. Pull the blue clip off and then go ahead and I'm gonna feed this through here. I think something about like that and right there it goes now we're going to go ahead and install okay and that's tight that ain't gonna go anywhere now we put that blue clip back on right there okay so i need to install this back on so this one here is what i got in the kit from aquatic life which is fine except for me this is a 3 8 that connects here 
So I would have to have find all kinds of adapters and stuff because this obviously is not 3 8 So what I did was I went to Home Depot and we got an option. This goes into the valve and this is for this. All right, now we need to go ahead and line them up. Okay, so yellow is the supply line, which goes into this section. Red is waste. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. Okay. There we go. Now the blue lock clip goes back into place. There we go. So this is our waistline, which gets hooked up to this. Take the clip out. So we gotta make sure we get the initial push. There we go, that ain't coming out. All right, so we got the supply line in place. You can see right there. Okay, we got our waistline with the saddle. These stay on, they're flush caps so that it doesn't pour out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the blue fresh water, like what's ready, and then put a valve on it, okay? Go ahead and pull the clip out. I decided to put a longer piece on here because I don't, I want there to be the least amount of stress on this thing as possible. It's off. I just doing this in case water comes out. I don't want to get water everywhere. Make sure that we put the clips back in. There we go. Now we need to install the cartridges. The first one is gonna be the sediment filter. So just pull the cap off, and this is meant to be easier. Obviously, I don't have a lot of room, so this one over here is gonna be a little tough, and it has little arrows here. So this is gonna go like so. Okay, that one's done. Next is going to be the carbon block. Same deal. Go ahead and push in and twist. Now we're gonna need to do some flushing. All right, so I turned the unit on just to kind of test it, make sure there was no leaks. Um, I gotta just keep an eye on it to be sure. But uh, what you do is you install the sediment first and then your carbon block. What you gotta do, and I ended up just adding this just for now, you need to flush out the carbon because it's a bunch of black. I already did so, but I pretty much just did this and you're supposed to do this until it runs clear. All right, so what we need to do is install this membrane. Now, I shut the supply off so that we could go ahead and remove this. Some water is gonna come out, of course. Now we need to go ahead and get the membrane on. Now again, what's really nice about this unit is you just lift it up and you twist in place. It lines up right there and you're done. Now what we gotta do is turn the system back on and this needs to flush out the first 30 gallons. So we're gonna go ahead back here, turn that on. I'm sure you could hear it. But this is filling up here. The water is still making its way through here. It's making a lot less noise. Can you hear that? That is the wastewater draining through the saddle we installed. So now, yeah, I just gotta leave this for some time. All right, so got these all marked up and I picked up a pressure gauge to check my pressure to be sure it's tied in right there. And the incoming pressure is at 50 PSI, 
which is good because you want to be between 40 and 80, any less than 40, and you're going to need to have a booster, and anything over 80, you'll have to have something to reduce it. All right, so I know I have more than 30 gallons of water flushed out of the membrane, which is what is required in order for you to install the DI cartridge so you don't shorten the life of the DI cartridge. So we got the water shut off right now, and we need to pull off the flush cap. Yep, this is full of water. Yeah, so all you do is lift it up, go here, push and twist. DI cartridge is done. All right, so got the date on here that we got the DI cartridge installed. Although we don't technically need it because the resin will change color, I just wanna know what day I put this in here. So that's it guys, got it all installed ready to go right now I have it off as you can see by the pressure gauge and uh, so I am ready to make purified water there it is pretty cool system it is gonna allow me to make the water I need for the salt tank this is gonna be so epic so we're gonna start collecting water tomorrow and uh, it's 100 gallons a day so we should have okay 120 and i'd say maybe 20 30 gallons down there so we're gonna have all the water we need in a day and a half i have the salt so we might have water in here like very soon guys so wanted to show you guys that rodi system if you guys can like the video and comment that would be awesome if you could subscribe and hit that notification bell that would be super cool as well and uh, stay tanked.